Is murder wrong? I, I believe it's wrong, yes. Wait, on, on the, all circumstances. On all circumstances, the unjustified killing of someone is wrong. Yes. Well, all right then. Is, is, um, is, um, killing is not offenses are wrong, for example. Murder. Justifiable homicide. Is killing wrong? It's killing wrong. Not yeah. in itself, so, no. So it's not always wrong. There are justified reasons it's as killed. to why the life of a person is taken. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. rape. Yeah. Rape is always wrong. Yeah. Rape is always. Yeah. Where is it ever? Where is it ever right? It's never right. Yeah. So the point that we're saying is, is you don't use empiricism to judge that you rape is wrong. Okay, so then we I'm using something we else. Can't, we can't so, then point. Point. so then I'm no, using something else. Thank you. Thank, hey, thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Is rape is wrong. Good. Is rape wrong? On a, in a value term, yes. In my own value to state okay. days. Okay. Yes. So, can it be okay for someone else? Not in, from my point of view, no. Why can't it be okay for someone else? Because it's, it's from my point of view. It's not it, whatever he, what other person says. Is your point of view right? I think, it, in my opinion, it's right. Yeah. In your opinion, it's right. No, is it actually right? No, not in any objective sense. Okay, not in any objective sense. Let's say, okay, okay, fine, fine. Okay, okay, okay. So, could I ask you a question? If society agrees that rape is wrong, is that fine? No. It's not fine? No. So, if, if society agrees that rape is okay, is that fine? Why isn't it okay for a group of people that are not you to agree on something? A group of people can say whatever they like. Okay, and but you can, can say whatever you like as well. I can say whatever I like. But it doesn't make it right. Opinion, I think my opinion is better than theirs. Okay, what makes your opinion better? What makes your opinion better than I never said anything well, about better or worse. What, what, what makes your opinion better? What, what, makes their, what makes the rapist's opinion better? I'm asking you, what makes well, your opinion is, better? There is no... There is no reason. You said... No, so, no, so, no, so, so bear in mind. Everyone, everyone, bear in mind, bear in mind. Hold on, hold on, bear in mind. can't demonstrate. You said it's better. No one else said it's better. You better. said, okay, how do you know it's better? I can't demonstrate it. So you can't demonstrate your claim? I, I, well, I can, in a, in a kind of loose sense. Then demonstrate it. Well, I can say it's bad. It's bad for the person who gets raped. It's bad. It's what, bad makes, what makes the person getting raped bad? What if society decided, well, you know oh, what? No, I'm, I think I'm, that non-consensual sex is great. I think it's an amazing question. thing. Don't question. clip me out of context, no, no. please. <laughs> I've answered I mean? that question already. You haven't? I, I have. It's, I think it's bad. The rapist thinks it's okay. Yeah, you think it's bad. What makes that thing bad? Well, 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 how do you know? What determines? All you're doing is no, shifting no, the question listen, onto me. I'm asking you. No, no, I, I don't know. I, so, I don't think you can. So this is the problem, right? Well, what? How when do you we, determine the rapist? What's your determination? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no. What's your determination? You're asking me no, the no, question no, now. No, I'm not. I'm yes, you are. You I'm literally answered, are asking no, a question. I've answered it. I'm saying. I've been honest. The rapist has his opinion. I have mine. Yes. If you say the rapist is wrong, what makes how the do you determine the rapist is what wrong? What makes the rapist what, what, wrong or what right? What makes it wrong for you? Okay. We need to have okay. ethics. What, what, and the point is, is you don't judge ethics by empiricism. I never you said judge... you did. So therefore, I never said you did. so now let's circle back. Therefore, no, no, no. What, there are other how ways. Do you, what is the way? There are other ways. How do you there are other ways. How do you One second. Rape is wrong? There are other ways of determining truth. How do you do it? Empiricism, ethics. Yes. We've got another one. No, a third no. one, logic. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. Another no, one, no. metaphysics. No, no. All of these no, no. ways no, no. are different ways that we can use no, no. to get no, no. to no. truth. How do you determine? You're the saying no, no, How no, do you no. Determine? But Let the me ask problem you a question. is, you're saying no, no. Can I ask the question? The reason why I'm continuing is because the remember is the point that we're saying. The point that we're saying is he said that there isn't a better way of getting to the truth than empiricism. Yeah. And you said it's the yeah. only way that he knows of. empirical oh, questions. Okay. Exactly. Not for me, not okay. Yeah, is yeah. the existence... Not for of, not thank you. Not, not, is the existence of God an empirical you question? Let me finish, I'm going to walk away. It's fine if you want to walk away. Fine. Well, which I will if, if I can't finish my sentences. You haven't been letting me finish your, my sentence. Well, no, the, it's got, like, like middle of my oh, sentence, start of yours, like it's well, crazy. What, what are you looking for? What is your object? No, 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 but he's made a good point. He said that empirical claims solve empirical questions. I like that. Okay. The existence of God was never an empirical question to begin with. In I mean, the history of philosophy. Yes, it is. It's a theological question. Not only is it a theological question, it's a metaphysical question. It's an ontological question. And ontology doesn't need empiricism. Unicorns need defining. Pardon? Unicorns. If an if a mir if a sorry if a unicorn is defined as an empirical object, then I'm asking you. Then it, pardon? If, if God if, if God's a metaphysical question, why yes. not unicorns? Because of the definition of a unicorn. 
Come on. You could, you, um, uh, hey, guess what? Guess what? Unicorns have here, here's, here's, the, here's the crazy thing, right? Here's what I want you to do now. Oh, if, if, I, if you, you want, say, if you say, I was middle no, of my no, sentence, no, thought of yours. If you, you know. say, if you say God is a, is a metaphysical unicorn, question, unicorn, yeah. why not unicorns? Unicorns are yeah. omnipresent. Yeah, How do you know? Is, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is great. Because guess what? Even if you want to make the claim that a unicorn is a metaphysical, imp immaterial, non-composite, omnipotent, omniscient, omniscient yeah. omnibenevolent, yeah. that's just another name for the God concept. That's fine so by me. What if God's a unicorn? You could call God unicorn all you like, I don't no, care. No, what if God is a unicorn? Okay, what's a unicorn? No, I don't know. Okay, so how can you say horse, what if he is a unicorn? Horse, 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 horse with wings. Okay, so the problem is, is <laughs> yeah. No, I don't believe in yeah. God or unicorn. For example, unicorn we say you know? we say that we say that the definition of God is the unbegotten one. We use many names for God: the all-powerful one, the loving one. We use many names for God. I could say spaghetti monster and unicorn, and I can put it onto God, and I wouldn't care, and I'll still be a Christian. Well, that's fine. If you, okay. believe, that, if you believe God is spaghetti monster and the unicorn, yeah. that's fine. Okay, uh, we're, but the we're, problem we're is, one. but the problem is, we're is this. One. Okay, then say Christ You're is Lord. Not one because the content. Because that the word because is again, used is the name is one you thing. That the content of the name is different. How do you know the different. content of God? Because how can you, how can you know what Hold the on. content of God the is? Content he just of showed God. you that there's other ways. Yeah, to get because if I use because if I use metaphysics, it can describe the content. Of God. How do you demonstrate metaphysically the content of God? Yes. How do you do it? Good example. The act potency distinction is one of them. The what? The act potency distinction. Okay. Another no. principle no. is no, no, the PSR. You tell me your best argument for the metaph metaphysical You're not going to understand, You're not gonna understand the argument. I'm not going to understand it. No. They will. You everyone won't. else will. They just will. You. But not me. No, because you, you don't know things about things. No, you, you, that's not my point. You, right, well, you don't know how okay, you know, Give argument. me the best metaphysical explanation of I won't God, give you the best. I will understand. I won't give you the best. I'll Can give I you the one that you can question. understand. In a time like mortal danger, like you're almost going to die, would you go, oh, God save me? Yes. I can't lie, that's God, that's God. That's God, that's God, that's God. You do believe in the God. Yeah, fair, 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 fair. Fair, 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 fair. That's something in the soul. That's the soul. That's the soul. That's the soul. That's what the brain is. That's the soul. That's the news. That's the intellect. You get it. Okay, so can I present the argument now? No, I'm just saying. It doesn't have to be a Christian. So, let's just recap as he's coming. Does that go with Adolf Hitler then? Adolf Hitler. Yeah, so. All right. I'm going to reply. I didn't say yes. I didn't say yes or no. I was just going to reply to a question. Adolf Hitler's soul is now in heaven. We don't know. As an angel, my soul is going to hell. I've never hurt anyone. I've never stolen from anyone. I've never lied to anyone. Because I do not believe in Jesus, I'm going to hell. Okay. I'm going to let him finish. And you believe this I'm going to let him finish. And you believe this bullshit. I don't believe you're going to hell. Let's 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 let him finish. Secular paganism philosophy. Yeah, I'm gonna let him finish. I believe in nature. Why do they always use this? I believe that. Yeah, suicide is like a death sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, look, I'm just gonna let him finish. So I believe that organized. I'm a Christian. I believe in science. Out of paganism and philosophy. Do you believe that he's only ten thousand years old? I'm agnostic to that view, but I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Like. No, no, if the world was 10,000, can I, can I finish? I wanna, look, if the earth was 10,000 years old, it wouldn't make me not Christian. If the earth was a billion years old, I wouldn't care. Because it's your faith, isn't it? Well, I mean, the point is, is that whether the universe is 3, 13 billion years old or 10,000 years old is irrelevant to whether God exists or not, and it's irrelevant to whether Christianity is true. I don't care. Why choose Christianity and not? And not yeah, so there are, yeah, that's true. So apart from the God, I understand that. Apart from the God claim, there are other claims that are fulfilled by religions, like sociology, yes. as well as history. Yes. Now, I believe within the history that we have of Christianity, yeah. it best characterizes the world and is the only explanation for the entire state of things that we have. Now, I'm not going to say that you're going to go to hell simply because you're not a Christian. I'm going to say that you're going to hell in your obstinance to God. I don't think you're obstinate to God because you haven't presented such. Neither have you, apparently. But well, you know the concepts that Christianity has. Yeah, like what? Um, so Messiah, Messiah Christ. Um, yeah, these are the afterlife. These are Jewish concepts. Yeah. Yeah. No, but they're also Zoroastrian concepts. That's fine. Yeah. It's no, also no, a Zoro no Christ. Yeah. It's Christ also consciousness, Messiah not not Christ consciousness. It's also a Zoroastrian belief that the sky is blue. The point is, it's just because two other sections 
believe in something and one section is pagan and the other one is Christian, it doesn't mean that the Christians copy from the pagans. In fact, we probably have more evidence than not to suggest that pagans, especially in the Hellenistic world, took from Greek, took from Christian philosophy. A good example, a good, I'm going to give you a good example. That argument has been made by many, but individuals like Ilaria Ramelli, she published a paper on on Neoplatonism. Plotinus was an individual that, you know, started right. off the Neoplatonic yes, movement. One. To make it simple, there are Greek words in Plotinus's book yes. that was not written by Plotinus, it was written by his students, Porphyry. Porphyry took that phrase from Origen, who was a Christian. The Christian word hypostasis that makes its way into neo-pagan literature, that makes its way into neo-platonist literature, comes from Christians. In fact, we have pagan philosophers like Numenius of Aramea, who directly quotes from the Bible. He quotes narratives of Jesus. More often than not, it is the pagans that take from the Christians. It is a false narrative, I would argue, that it is the other way around. How is the cross a pagan symbol? Because it represented the four winds. And no. many, many cultures that surrounded um, Judea, they had a cross symbol. Could you name one of those cultures? Egypt had a cross symbol. The, Ankh, the Coptic Christians used that as a, as a cross. Yes, the Coptic yeah. Christians... The tau, you've got the Tower Cross, T-A-U, the Tower Cross. I'm going to explain the... Can I explain the Coptic one? The Ankh? Go on. So actually, in the history of Christianity, when it moved into Egypt, um, Mark, the person that we believe wrote the Gospel of yes. Mark, he no, he didn't actually. We don't know. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and still the never pain. existed. They don't. They, you don't know your Bible. That's a false they, they, but, um, so, Jesus, you don't believe in Matthew, Jesus. Mark, Luke, and John were. Um, right. No one knows who wrote the fucking Bible. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue on that. And by the way, the Bible was written by Jews. Can I finish? Who themselves Can I finish? The of God. Can I finish? And that's where we are. Where we. Can I finish? Can I finish? I can.